In this video, I will talk about the update to my Balance DZTL, which is part of my Utility DZTL pack. The skin tone indicator highlights skin tones as yellow and indicates deviations from the skin tone line as magenta or green. Exposure heat map shows over underexposed areas, while saturation heat map highlights saturation extremes. Gray out non-skin areas simplifies skin tone corrections by desaturating non-skin regions. First a short introduction how to install these details. Open the project settings, go to color management and choose open LUT folder. Now drag and drop the folders with the DZTL files into this directory. Now you have to restart DaVinci, then you will find the DZTLs in the DZTL list. Here an introduction how to set up the node tree. The balanced DZTL works best at the very end of your node tree. So here we have the Isabella test footage by Ari and our color space is set to Ari log C. So we need a CST to go from log C color space to output color space, set to gamma 2.4. Now we place the balanced DZTL at the end of our node tree. The first new feature I want to show you is the split screen option. We can split the image horizontally and vertically. Now we can go to our first node and make adjustment there. We no longer need to toggle the detail on and off. We can view the adjustments in the original image alongside the false color generated by the detail. Now let's move on to some real footage. I am using a shared node which is linked to the detail on timeline level. This allows me to enable and disable the DZTL while on clip level. If I turn it off here, it will also trigger the DZTL on timeline level. The skin tone indicator highlights hues that are lying on the skin tone line as yellow and indicates deviations from the skin tone line as magenta or green. So if the skin is shifting more towards green, the skin will turn green. If the skin shifts more towards magenta, the skin will turn magenta. I can switch to lightbox mode, where I can see all my scenes as thumbnails side by side. This is helpful for getting a good overview. The problem is, the eye is always drawn to the brightest part of an image, which can be distracting. That is why I've created a grey out non-skin areas button. When you click it, all the non-skin areas turn grey. This helps us focus better on the skin tones when we go back to the lightbox mode. We can easily spot where the skin might not line up correctly and jump to the scene to fix it. The U angle slider lets you shift the focus away from the exact skin tone line, moving more towards the left or right. For example, if your skin tone leans more towards green, but you want to highlight it as yellow, you can adjust the slider to make that change. Or if your skin tones are shifting more towards magenta and you want them to appear as yellow, you can do that too. After changing the U angle, now skin tones that are shifting more towards green or magenta will be highlighted as yellow. The skin tone indicator is also great for analyzing film stills. Here for example some film stills from the movie 1917. I click on skin tone indicator and now we can see what is going on in the image here. And we can also um, click on split horizontally or split vertically and here's some footage from the movie Asteroid City. I can use a split position slider to move the image more towards the right or more towards the left.
And here we have some stills from the movie Challengers. So we can see that this tool is also great for analyzing multiple faces at once. And there is nothing wrong when the face is small shifting towards green. Skin tone doesn't have to line up perfectly on the skin tone line. But it helps to have consistency between different shots. It also works on darker scenes too, as we can see here. And this is also a dark scene and we can really see that um, some areas are shifting more towards magenta and some areas are more shifting towards green. And here are some scenes from the movie King Richard. And last but not least, here are some scenes from the movie The Master. So here the face is shifting more towards magenta. And his face is um, perfectly lined up on the skin tone line. Here are some dark scenes. As I said before, this is great for analyzing multiple actors all at once. So we can analyze his face and his face. Another feature is the exposure heat map. So when I overexpose the image, then the false color turn into red and when I underexpose the image then the false color is turning bluish. And this is a exposure heat map applied to a film still and the great thing about this DCTL is that we can click also on gray out non-skin areas and then the exposure heat map is only applied to the skin tone region. And so we can analyze um, film scenes and see how the exposure is. And we can see there are no rules. So here his face might be a little bit underexposed and his face is overexposed, but is totally fine. There are no rules when it comes to exposure. You can underexpose, overexpose. The main feature of this tool is that it helps with consistencies. So the important part is to get the same exposure values from shot to shot. Another feature of this DCTL is saturation heat map. The saturation heat map uses false color to display saturation levels with cool tones, blues and greens for low saturation and warm tones, red and yellow, for high saturation. And here's some demonstration. I will add a new note, and then I will lower the saturation. And less saturation means the image is getting blue. And if I add saturation, Now we are in a good region, something between green and yellow. And now if I add more and more saturation to the image, it's getting red. And if I even add more saturation, then at one point I will break the image and it's getting white. So I will reset this. And there are no rules for saturation, so let's look at some film stills. So here's a scene from Asteroid City. And I will enable the saturation heat map. Then I will also enable split vertically. 
And now we can see that we have more saturation here in the background than on his face and in this face. And here we have more saturation in the sky and on the ground. And here we have a lot of saturation in her face. And here the most saturated part are her lips. And in this scene the most saturated part is this area here and this stuff here in the background and then this area of his face. And here we can see that the background and her face have the same amount of saturation. And here the most saturated part is her dress, which is dark red. Then this is a scene from La La Land. And in this scene, the most saturated part is the blue jacket and the door. And again, this tool helps with consistency. So we can click on Lightbox and then we can see if we have the same amount of saturation in different scenes. Another great workflow is to select the split screen button here and then click selected clips. Then we can select two clips here in our timeline. And then we can focus on our skin tones and enabling saturation heat map. And then we can compare two shots with each other. And we can also check the exposure heat map and the skin tone indicator. And we can turn all three indicators and heat maps off and just use the gray out non-skin areas. And this gives us a great focus just on the skin tones. The last two features in this mono balance detail is this monochrome button. This will turn the image black and white, that is all. So this can be helpful to adjust contrast and exposure. Sometimes it's easier to do it in black and white. And another feature is this highlight neutral button. So when we activate the highlight neutrals button, this function identifies color with an image where the RGB values are similar, signaling a neutral tone and converts those colors to green. This is more neutral than this one here. So here we have values between 105 and 97 and here we have values between 128 and 125. We can use the offset to adjust the RGB values. And now this is before and this is after. And now our image is more balanced. So that's it. In the next video, I will talk about the updated clipping DZTL. And I will also talk about the RGB min max DZTL. You can download a free demo version on my website. Have a nice day and see you next time.